Hi guys, today I am going to talk on the topic how to connect Node.js with JSP. Otherwise, Node.js with PHP, .NET, any other technologies, how can we connect it? This is one peculiar question which most of the people they will be having in their mindset. First of all, does it require to connect Node.js with JSP? Maybe some scenarios in this current technologies we have different different uh, projects in the market where already developed projects might be there which is developed in JSP otherwise uh, Java technologies PHP whatever the technologies it is now to enhance that particular projects we should be working on that particular technologies otherwise with the latest technologies we should uh, connect with that particular old technology now in this particular session i am going to answer you that particular question how we can connect node.js with jsp the same procedure you can apply it for dotnet even for uh, php or any other technologies also this crazy idea i am going to introduce in two different steps one particular step is just for performing addition of uh, two numbers otherwise division any one particular arithmetic operation i'll show you and uh, in the second step i'm going to show you how to interact with the database using jsp that jsp program how to connect with node.js i'll be showing you that is one of the important uh, topic which we need to know so these two topics i'll be covering in this particular session where for this particular uh, uh, programs first thing what you need to have is you need to have one particular uh, uh, apache tomcat available in your machine as well as you need to have mysql available in your machine you need to have uh, uh, node.js installed into your particular machine where by making use of all these particular components we will be working on this particular examples let me get into the example first let me show you my apache tomcat you can see my apache tomcat here i have created one sample folder where in this particular sample folder this is a second.jsp where you can check it out i have written error page if any error it will go to error.jsp that error page also let me show you uh, this is just for displaying the exception message over here and uh, when it comes to second.jsp it is taking the parameters from t1 t2 in the form of integer it is converting storing into a and b it performing division storing into c that c value i'll be displaying on the web page now this is my page which i will be deploying into apache tomcat 8.5 web apps sample project now let me run this particular program how to do run you just go to apache tomcat 8.5 uh, bin and click on tomcat 8 exe yes my server will be starting up now you can check the server is started fine let me open that yes localhost 8080 where my apache tomcat will be running okay so the project also will be running with that ignore this next thing is how to write a node.js to send the data to this particular jsp program uh, already i have written the program over here you can see uh, http yeah require http i'm creating the server with the request response and this is my html code form action i have written where in this particular form action i have added two text fields one text field name is t1 another one is t2 i have a submit button on click of this it will go and hit 8080 where apache tomcat is available in my machine so localhost sample is my project name which is available in apache tomcat under this second dot jsp i want to hit if it is jsp jsp php php dot net some other format okay or uh, yes that right it is uh, 200 everything is fine this particular uh, code i'm displaying on the 
web page of node.js okay and this particular node.js server will be reasoning to the port address 1010 now let me run this particular thing too okay i'll step into this command prompt okay yes paste it yes now node hit jsp.js okay this is running fine let this run separately i'll open localhost 1010 yes now this particular uh, hit.js has been opened and it is rendering two text fields you can see that particular two text fields with the add button also okay i'll enter some uh, input 12 by 2 okay click on add it's generating you can see it went to second.jsp with the t1 as 12 and t2 as 2 with that particular parameters it has generated the response and it has printed the result over here this is this is the way we will be connecting our particular uh, node.js with our jsp page this is the first uh, example which i wanted to show you and when it comes to second example let me show you okay let me get into this particular uh, and uh, second dot uh, jsp that division was there okay in index dot index one dot jsp this is a program where uh, i have written some simple jdbc code where uh, it is connecting to mysql okay let me open mysql database also over here okay my username is root okay use adb okay select star from emp you can see this is what the data which is available right now for ss and 1233 okay fine now uh, with this particular program i wanted to insert uh, three columns into i mean one record into employee table where that three parameters t1 t2 t3 has to be captured through node.js how we will be capturing how we can insert it into this particular mysql let me show you uh, just go to hit uh, jsp 1.js i have written separately for this okay i'm creating the server with 1010 this remains same here the same index 1.jsp with the three different parameters t1 t2 t3 and insert button is there right now now if i run this particular program how to run this okay already anyway your apache tomcat is running with the sample project so you don't need to do anything with that leave that as it is when it comes to node i will stop this and i will start jsp1.js now okay i just go to this and refresh it you will get uh, three different fields right now okay now number i uh, let me in 99 okay wms is the name okay it is one three three some number just click on insert record inserted these are the parameters which has been passed to index one dot jsp you can see that by going to mysql command line client okay uh, 99 wms and 133 this is what the result which has been passed in this way we can uh, connect our uh, uh, node.js with jsp or uh, you can connect the same procedure you can follow the same procedure for connecting to even php also or any other uh, technologies the same code will be available in the description for you to download and check it out if you need this kind of uh, questions and answers in more detail please subscribe to my channel thank you